you serious? Come on! <laughs> it's unbelievable! Look at that! You can't even see through it! Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel and a product review. You know I love doing product review. And I said I wasn't gonna get another vacuum. Well, it's not really a vacuum. <laughs> it's a vacuum and mop. Um, you know, like a floor scrubber. Those are getting more and more popular and there's so many different brands out there. Um, I can't remember if it's Bissell or Hoover who started it, but everybody's doing it now. So if you remember a couple of months ago, I think it was over a year ago, I had tried one. It was great. It started very good. The review was good. And then about a month later, the self-cleaning stopped working. So I kept using it. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll clean the brush myself. It got old real fast and it ended up in the basement. I complained to the company. I told them, look, the product is not working. And I did a whole review. They apologized. Um, you know, they said, yes, we've had an issue with this particular item. Um, what do you want to do about it? And I told them I'll remove the video and I did. The video has been removed. It's not on my channel anymore. So I left it alone and went back to my regular mop. <laughs> and then this company, Ozotech, contacted me a couple of weeks ago and they said, listen, we have this new thing. It's a wet dry vacuum cleaner that mops the floor all different types of floor. Do you want to try it and review it? And I said, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Um, because the one that I had initially, I really liked it. And I was kind of bummed out that it stopped self-cleaning and wasn't working anymore. Well, it was, but I just, I wanted the self-cleaning feature. That was really, really cool. So they said, well, this one's got good reviews. We've been working on it for some time. There shouldn't be any problem. So I'm going to do a review for the Osotech Cordless Wet Vacuum Cleaner. And what's a little bit different about this one, it does the same thing, it vacuums and it mops the floor. What's a little bit different about this one is that it supposedly leaves the floor dry, which is really good for hardwood and laminate, but it also will vacuum and mop at a 180 degree position, meaning if you put it completely flat. So if you try to go underneath your bed or any piece of furniture and you have to get it really, really flat, it will do that. When it's in the lowest position, when you are at a 180 degree tilt, it's only 4.3 inches tall. So it will definitely go under most furniture. It will mop, vacuum and mop, all sorts of floors. So you can do hardwood floor, sealed floor, tiles, like in your kitchen or your bathroom. You can do laminate floor, you can do marble, you can do slate and all sorts of other floors on it. It's cordless. It fully cleans from corner to corner. So you'll see that the cleaning brush, it's actually more like a mop. Uh, the pad is pretty thick in terms of width. It's not a little roll. It's pretty, it's flat and thick and it's from edge to edge. So if you're going into your kitchen, you can really do the edges of your cabinets with it. It's got an LED light in the front so you can really see what you're vacuuming and mopping and it will mop and vacuum all sorts of stuff. So if you have like a major spill, for instance, uh, like a Kevin Chili type spill. For those of you who watch The Office, you know what I'm referring to. You can actually go in there and grab all the chili from the floor. Same thing, if you have toddlers, this is great. Um, you know, they spill stuff all the time. The only thing, again, you can do carpet. I'm gonna open it. We're gonna look at the specs, um, give you all sorts of close-ups so we can look at it. It probably needs to charge. And while it's charging, I'll go do something else and then we'll try it out. I'm gonna try it out in my living room, dining room, and kitchen today. The kitchen on Saturday morning, you know that's my cleaning routine. This is what I do on Saturday morning. I reset the kitchen. The only thing I didn't do today in the kitchen was vacuum and mop. I purposely did that so that I can try this product on my kitchen floor. So you'll get to see it on hardwood floor and on tiles. And here 
here it is. It's called the Horizon Wet Dry Vacuum H200 by Ozotech. Manual quick installation guide. All right. 12 month extended warranty. It comes with a silicone type cleaning brush. That's pretty cool. This looks like the base for specific attachments. Here's the handle. Okay, so this is the top of the mop head and here's the bottom part. The mop is not installed yet, but you can already see how much wider it's going to be compared to what you would see in other products. So I don't know. We'll see if this is really effective. I got to finish unwrapping it. Okay, right from the bat, one thing I like about it so far is that it stands on its own. I can't stand vacuums that cannot be like this. Like you, you, they constantly fall off. You have to put them in a specific position. They slide off the wall. I love that this is actually standing on its own. So that means that in terms of storage, it's gonna be very easy to store. Um, it's not a huge footprint. I'll go get my uh, tape measure. What do you think of the design? It's, uh, it's kind of sleek, very robot-like. You know, not thing, nothing super fancy. Okay, so let's see what else is in the box. Here's the mop head. So it's a pretty thick roll. Nice, soft. It feels like a microfiber. Very nice. And they give you one bottle of hardwood floor cleaning solution. Let's smell it. Oh, it smells good. It's kind of like very faint laundry type smell. Um, I'm assuming any other hardwood floor cleaning solution would work. Charging cable right here. This is the other part of the mop head. This is actually the part where you going to install this guy right here. I just got to figure out how to do it. And this is the base. So just like the other ones, when you want to self clean, you bring it to the base and it will clean itself on the base. All right, so that's the base. So again, this is everything that came in the box. You have the actual body of the vacuum slash mop, the base, this part right here, we still have to figure out uh, what it's for. There's a cleaning brush. This little thing here, still don't know what it's for. The charging cable, the mop head, uh, the actual mop, a cleaning solution, and the handle. So this is what the box contains. I'm going to read the instructions and see how to assemble it. And when I come back, we'll charge it and try it out. So I finally figured out what this little thing was for. This you just clip right here um, to the side and it's leaving a little tab right here on the side. And that little tab is going to allow you to put that container and insert it right here on the side so that it doesn't go anywhere. And now that little container, I can use it to put my cleaning brush right here. And once I have the mop here and I need it to dry, I'm just gonna put it right here to dry and this little hole right here is going to be for the filter because sometimes you're going to clean the filter and you're going to want it to dry as well. Let's just push it in until it clicks. Next I'm going to install the mop head so what you need to do is take the two tabs that are right here, press them together and you remove the top part of the mop head exposing the mechanism here. I'll put that to the side. So if you remember, the mop head came in with this thing and what they ask you to do is to take out the cardboard insert uh, that's right here. So we're gonna push it in. 
right here. And the mop head itself is not this cylindrical thing. It's actually going to get squished like this. So that's what they meant by the cleaning surface is much wider, not only in length, but in width than the average vacuum that's a, a wet and dry type vacuum. So basically this entire surface here is what's going to go on your floor and clean the floor. So then I'm gonna take um, the mop head inner part and I'm gonna take the mop head and again, you wanna squish it to make an oval and you just insert that in it, all the way in, like this. Other machines that I've seen, in comparison, they do give you extra mop heads. Uh, so I don't know how long this one is gonna last. What I can tell you is that the inside of it right here is rubber. It's like a, a very thick rubber mat. So I don't expect that it's going to tear. I just don't know with my filthy floors um, how long it's going to last. Uh, but I'm gonna go right now online and find out how much is a replacement mop head. $24.99. That's how much a replacement mop head is. $24.99. So once I have the roller brush installed on the uh, uh, adapter right here, I just insert it right back in and you'll see that there's a small hole and a larger one and here you have a small and a large. So you just put it in like this Give it a good push. And then there's a lock thing right here. You just turn that. Did you hear it click? Let me do it again. Okay, and that's clicked in place. And here's your roller securely attached to the bottom. And the last thing you need to do is bring back the cover. So again, you grab it like this and All right, so we are in my back entrance and what I'm gonna do is connect it and put it on the charger. Um, and that's fairly simple. So here's the back of the unit. Um, and I noticed that there's a little wheel right here. That's for when you do your cleaning at 180 degree flat, it will help the machine continue to roll. That's pretty cool. And it will also not scratch your floor. Uh, the water tank is right here in the back. There's a button right here that you push. And here's the water tank. Remember, it's self-cleaning. So there's going to be dirty water that needs to be removed. All the way on the underside, uh, you'll see that there is a compartment right here with two little tabs that allow you to wrap the cable around it. And the plug is right here in the middle. And here we go. Charging. Okay. So I'm going to remove the little plastic thingy here. We don't need that. It's charging and it came in the box at 46%. So we're gonna let it charge a little bit more. I'm gonna go get my measure my tip measure and I'm going to measure the footprint so that you get an idea of how much space it's going to take on your floor. From the wall to the front of the unit, 14 inches. If you don't use this part right here, it's 11. So that would be 14 by 11. If you use this part right here, it will be 14 by 14. Uh, it's 30 inches to the top of the machine and about 45 with the handle. So 14 by 45 by 11 or 14. First impressions before I actually try it. Um, it's an easy install. It really didn't require any specific skill. You don't need any tools, no screwdriver, nothing. Everything is click and turn, basically. Um, I think it looks solid right now. I am a little concerned with the size of the water tank. It seems to be a little small. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do 
the entire first floor on just one water tank. I doubt it. So we'll see when we try it out whether or not this concern is going to be validated. But right now it looks like the water tank, it's quite small compared to the other machine that I had. So I don't know how much water it's actually going to use and if it's going to use enough water to remove the dirt that's on the floor. So when I come back, we'll find out. I'm gonna let it a charge. Um, other than that, it looks solid. It is voice activated. There is a button to remove the voice activation. I would suggest if you're going to purchase this machine to keep the voice activated um, function on because it will tell you empty dirty water tank or refill clean water tank or please place back on the charging base you know things like that so that when you're not familiar with the machine that's definitely something that you want um but right now it's charging again it came in at 45 percent um i've been talking for about four minutes and it's at 47 now so we'll see how long it takes to get it to 100 percent charge So while it's still charging, I'm going to fill up the water tank. And the clean water tank is in the front. So what you do is that you press this button and you pull this out. And this is what I meant by the water tank not being very large. some mobility uh, impairment I can tell you that this rolls very well and I can move it with just two fingers it's not super heavy I'll put the weight right here um but it's not super light either it's got a good handle I like the way the handle uh, works and just like any vacuum you press on the head uh, to tilt it. Right here on the front of the handle is the start button. This one here is the mode button. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a turbo mode right here. That's the self-cleaning mode button. So when you bring it back to the base and you want to self-clean, you just press that button. Auto mode. Right now it's on automatic. And if I click on mode right here, it's going to switch to turbo mode. Turbo mode. The next one is the suction mode. Water absorbing mode. Okay, so that's if you have a big spill, like the chili, or if you have too much water left on your floor, you can finish up the floor with the water suction mode. So we're going to look at my kitchen floor. Uh, and I do have some stuff here on the edges. Okay, we want to make sure that everything gets clean. So I have some stuff here. Again, I did not clean my floor on purpose uh, so that I could show you in particular along the edges uh, because during the week I do a regular sweep but I do not mop every single day. So this is the kitchen floor right now and we're gonna try it out and see how much it's going to clean it. I am pretty excited. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt it and here we go. Oh, it's self propelled. I turned it off because I have to tell you, it's self propelled. That was a surprise. I did not expect that. You can actually feel it pull away from you. That surprised me. That's really cool. So that means it's even easier to use. You don't have to put as much effort.
I just did the kitchen. I'm going to put it right back on here. Charging. Because I'm ready to clean the mop head so that I can go and move to the living room. So I'm going to press the button right here on top and that's going to activate the self-cleaning function. Oh my god are you serious i don't think you guys can see this i mop this kitchen twice a week look at the color of the water what what so it's not just the water but look at all the i don't think you can see them there's a ton of stuff in there all right so let's open this so to open it you press the button right here and you pull here we go uh excuse me i mopped two days ago look at this unbelievable okay let's look at the color of the water two days ago guys i mopped unreal so here's the floor and the area i showed you earlier uh, that had stuff along the edges, so you can see that it did all the edges. I don't know what to say. Um, I've been doing a cleaning routine where I literally mop three times a week in this kitchen. And we vacuum regularly. What is going on? Do I not know how to mop? <laughs> where all this dirt coming from? Oh my God, I can't wait to see the living room. Because you know in the living room... I have the robot vacuum. Now, I haven't had it for two days. For two days, I didn't run it. So let's see the color of the water in the living room and the dining room. Bracing myself for the worst. How embarrassing. This thing really works. And I love, I love that all of the crumbs and the dog hair didn't get mixed with the water. There's like a little grid, so it stays on top. It's easier to remove. Um, Wow. Wow. The floor is already dry. Um, it really dries fast and that's not even hot water. Um, it doesn't leave any streaks that I can tell. It was rather fast uh, to do the whole thing. I'm happy that it goes underneath the table here. You saw how easy it is to maneuver. It was super easy to maneuver under the dining room table. Just move the chairs out of the way. 
and everything's been cleaned now. The area in my dining room that always has a collection of dog hair whatnot is the edges here of the buffet and you can see that it really did a good job at vacuum everything and it's rubber edging so it doesn't scratch the edge of your furniture um, the corner here clean really really neat so what i'm gonna do because i ran it up until one percent and then eventually it stops because one percent it's like you know so it asked me to put it back on the charger um it has to be at 10 percent in order for the self-cleaning to work so I'm going to wait for it to go at 10%, but I'm going to empty out um, the dirty water tank to see what the water looks like in my living room and dining room. And I'm telling you, the cleaning routines have been happening, so I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's, it's probably going to be horrendous. I hope it's not. But this thing, and I just, by the way, went on Amazon to look at the reviews five-star review everybody loves it game changer uh, you name it read the reviews it's unbelievable um how well it works i'm actually very surprised i thought it was just gonna be okay but it's um uh, the self-propelling makes it super easier man i don't have to like you know the mopping itself is good exercise i mean it's definitely aerobic exercise when you mop with a regular mop, but this eliminates it entirely. All you gotta do is just pull, push, pull, push slightly, because it's self propel It will move on its own. It is awesome. Are you serious? Come on! <laughs> it's unbelievable. Look at that! You can't even see through it. Oh my god! Darn, it's almost like all the efforts I've put together to clean this house, like, on a really weekly routine basis, are wasted. Either that or I don't know how to clean. <laughs> what is going on? Look at this stuff. Oh, my God. What even is this? Okay, let's empty the water. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at this. Now, come on. I didn't expect the water to come out clear, okay? Because uh, I do have pets. But this is ridiculous. I cleaned my house, y'all. I cleaned my house. I found it. So this is the back of the unit where the um, dirty water tank is. The dirty water comes from here and goes through. So once in a while, you want to clean this part right here. And then the filter is this thing. Um, obviously I don't have to clean it yet but it just basically plugs right back in here I was just telling Scott about the color of the water and how absolutely floor I am considering the amount of cleaning I've been doing <laughs> for the past month and a half or so have I been cleaning yeah oh come on <laughs> yeah of course you have have you watched me do cleaning routines and stuff yeah from the back of my head I mean you know I've been busy too <laughs> but I've been cleaning Yes, you have. More than usual. More than, a lot more than usual. You heard that, right? I've been cleaning a lot more than usual. And look at the color of the water coming out of the kitchen and the living room, dining room. I can't believe it. Can you imagine the color of, out of Edward's room? Ooh. Okay, so the self cleaning is done. And what I'm going to do is pull this out. So you turn right here and you basically... Pull it out. There we go. I'm just going to put it right here to dry until the next time. Okay, so this is my final review on the Ozotec Horizon H200 um, wet and dry vacuum. <laughs> I, if this thing keeps working the way it's worked during this demo, it just like the other reviewers said on uh, Amazon, this is a game changer. It is super easy to maneuver. It really rolls um, left and right. It's, it's very flexible. I love that you can lower it to 180. You saw me go underneath the secretary 
um, and underneath the uh, the other curio, underneath my table. This is really making a huge difference because if, for instance, you have ba a bad back, don't mind my beagle, yes, booby. Um, if you have a bad back, the actual mopping is very difficult. In particular, if you have to go and lower yourself to reach underneath furniture, it can be very difficult. This with the self-propelling um, traction and, and wheels makes it so easy. Hi. I know. I know. Uh, it makes it so easy. And um, it dries super fast. But again, the mop surface area is so big that you really don't feel like you need to go over and over again the same surface. Um, it doesn't leave any streaks on the floor. It picked up the vacuum part of it. The suction is unbelievable. It picked up everything. Stuff that apparently my vacuum and my regular mop didn't pick up. Like I don't know where those little beads of gravel and sand come from. I have no idea. Uh, but apparently probably tracked from underneath shoes or you know in the dog's paws whatever but it picked it up and the floor feels really clean so as i'm going to use it more and more uh, i'll probably do another pass tonight before i go to bed um, i can only expect the floors to get cleaner and cleaner and in the bathrooms i'm actually wondering if it's going to make the grout cleaner too, wider. Um, not that I'm going to use it in the bathrooms. I don't think I will because I don't really don't want to log it up and down and up and down. But also tech, this is an excellent product. Absolutely fantastic. I hope you make one for stairs because I can't use that on my stairs. But imagine a smaller version of it that's handheld just to do the threads on stairs. What a game changer that would be because otherwise I'm just stuck with having to mop the stairs, which I do every week, but you know, considering that I do this every week too, why is my floor still dirty? <laughs> I'm just, I, I don't know what to say. I was telling mom the water wasn't even gray, it was black, the water was black. And this is a house that's been more clean in the past six, seven weeks than any other weeks before. It's just, I, I don't know. I'm um, very pleased with it. I give it two thumbs up, five stars. This is a really good product. I hope you're gonna consider it. If uh, the link is down below, if you're trying, if you're considering purchasing it, I'm going to wait um, Wednesday to post the video. I'll probably, if I have a discount code for it, I'll put it in the um, description box. Um, I'm super happy. I really am. I can't wait for Scott to try it. This is really amazing how much it's lifted off the floor. It's unbelievable. So, yeah. Ozotech Horizon H200 Wet dry vacuum and mop gets my two thumbs up i really really like it <laughs> really like it if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh you can subscribe right here in the corner if you want to see more reviews there's plenty on the uh, channel are you okay there's plenty of reviews on the channel and uh, probably more to come because i enjoy trying new gadgets and re and reviewing them. I really do. There's something that I've always liked doing. I don't know why. So QVC host Emeritus here says goodbye. Again, like, share, subscribe in the corner, hit that bell button, and that would be it. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at my great challenge, and then my two Etsy shops, the links are down below. Don't forget the Patreon if you want to support my channel and my family. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.